Genesis. <laughs> Genesis means beginning, the beginning of everything. This project has been on my mind for a few years now. And why Genesis? Because on this project, I wanted to find a way to demonstrate the music from my island of Cuba, the root, all those rhythms, you know, the bata, the congas, and also mix it together with this beautiful language that I deeply love, that is called jazz. Thinking about this, I spent a lot of time composing music, especially for this project. Once I had all this music composed, the very first thing I did was that I called my dear friend, Hilario Bell, an amazing drummer, an amazing musician. And I told him about this idea that I had. Mi nombre es Hilario Bell y soy drummer y productor de esta hermosa producción que Molly y yo nos conocemos hace muchos años, mucho tiempo. Hemos trabajado mucho por mucho tiempo y de, de una y otra forma, obviamente eso ha influido mucho en que nosotros musicalmente nos conozcamos y nos hayamos eh, entrelazado. Esta producción Genesis es una música que él había venido ya hacía rato escribiendo y dándole cabeza y viendo hasta que finalmente eh, decidió sacarla. The next thing that we did right away was start thinking about two other musicians that could be on this project as well. And it was a little bit challenging because not only we had to find musicians that know about the tradition of jazz, but also we had to find musicians that know about the tradition of Cuban music. So right away, Hilario told me, I think I know who might be a good percussionist for this project, Majito Aguilera. Hace varios años tuve la oportunidad de conocer a Kemuel tocando, el cual eh, me llevó, gracias a Dios, al punto en el cual Kemuel formara el cuarteto. Y luego yo le decía, Kemuel, oye, cuando metes un percusionista, déjame saber. Y finalmente se me dio. Ha sido una experiencia realmente grande para mí, ya que me ha dejado aportar elementos de, de la percusión de mi país, de Venezuela. He podido hacer una llave tremenda con Hilario, y hemos podido desarrollar cada uno sus personalidades diferentes musicalmente hablando, pero tenemos un, un, una misma vía, tenemos un, un sonido. So the next thing was to find the right bass player for this group. And as I said before, uh, we needed somebody that were able to improvise, somebody that were able to play jazz music but also somebody that could play a tumbao in the bass. <laughs> so right away, I thought about Low Ringo. The first time I played with Kim Wall's band with Hilario and Majito, it was probably the biggest takeaway for me is how joyous it actually was. When those guys are on stage, they are having so much fun at all times and they're in the moment. So while recording the record, one of the things that immediately stuck out to me was, first of all, this is one of the few times which I recorded where the energy felt the same in a recording studio as it had when we were playing live, which was especially interesting being that we were all isolated, but I don't know, I think the connection is there is really strong. I mean, Hilario and Gimwell and Mahito have been playing together for many years. So they just really have a really great sense of how to play with each other and welcomed me in and taught me every time we play, I learn a lot. When we began working on the pre-production for this whole album, I always had the idea that I wanted to have a few special guests to appear on a few tracks of this album. And I have been a huge fan of the Breakers Brothers, 
Randy and Michael and I began my very first steps in the jazz listening to them and I thought it would be a huge blessing if Randy Brecker would agree to be part of this project. Hi, it's Randy Brecker here. Just wanted to say it was a privilege for me to play on Kemwell Royd's new and uh, I think best record ever, Genesis. From the first few bars, you can tell you're really in for something well planned, thought out and special. Not that there's not a lot of spontaneity and just great improvising on the record. But I like these kind of records which really have some thought put into it and thought for the whole thing from beginning to end. All the different moods, all the different wonderful compositions, some his, some tunes you already know but reharmonized. One of the best things I've heard in a long time. Check it out, it's going to be great. Since I began playing jazz, one of the composers from whom I learned a lot of jazz was Joe Henderson. And there was one particular composition from Joe that I would always love to play every time I would go and practice piano. And I would spend hours after hours playing over this composition. And I'm talking about Inner Urge. And I always found very interesting the way how Joe Henderson made a whole composition mainly based on the chord major 7 sharp 11. So when we got together and I began putting all this repertoire together, I knew that I had to pay tribute to Joe Henderson. But I said, I would like to do something different. Maybe Joe Henderson in Havana, <laughs> I don't know, something like that. So I said, yeah, I'm gonna try to do Inner Earth a la Afro-Cuban jazz. <laughs> So we actually did it on a 6-8 field. When we had all the pre-production done, we said it, it would be very nice to have a special guest on this track. And I began thinking right away about a saxophonist to perform. And Chris Potter was the first name that came to my mind. All God Children Got Rhythm. The very first time I heard this composition was by the pianist Bud Powell. And I remember at the time I was beginning to listen and learning about this music genre called bebop. So the very first time I heard this composition, I found so beautiful the melody of this composition and the chord changes that I remember that I went running right away to the piano and I tried to imitate his chord, you know, the chord shapes and also learn the melody by ear. And this is actually the first track from this album of Genesis. And on this track, you can hear an amazing musician, a saxophone player who has been a huge musical influence and mentor to my life. And I'm talking about Ed Kaye. Hi, I'm Ed Kaye. And um, I had the uh, great privilege of um, participating on his album, uh, recording uh, a solo on uh, All God's Children Have uh, Rhythm. Kamal is uh, a great friend, great person. Uh, we've made a lot of music together on tour with Arturo Sandoval and uh, my records, uh, so I'm proud to be a, a part of this, and it's a wonderful record. He's a wonderful, wonderful musician. Uh, great production, I'm very proud of him, very happy for him, and I uh, hope you all enjoy it. I hope you uh, enjoy listening to it as much as we uh, have enjoyed recording it for you. In order to create the energy for this track, we needed to have horn players, we needed to have a section of brasses. So that's when I learned about this amazing group of four musicians from Cuba, and they go by the name of Mercy Brass. Mercy Brass 
is composed by two trumpet players, Gerardo Rodriguez and Osvaldo Fleites, a trombonist by the name of Byron Ramos, and a saxophone player, Roilán Vázquez. Pare Cochero is a composition by Marcelino Guerra. And Pare Cochero is one of these musical pieces that everybody, everybody in Cuba knows about. Every single person from Cuba knows the melody and the lyrics to this beautiful composition. So for this recording, I had the honor of having as a featuring guest the multi-talented and amazing musician, singer, songwriter, Alain Pérez. Bueno, familia, qué placer. Soy Alain Pérez, músico cubano, eh, compositor, arreglista, cantante, nada, ando por ahí por la vida de la música, en el pentagrama de, de los hombres. Y qué feliz estoy de poder compartirles con ustedes estas palabras sobre el disco eh, del, del gran talento joven, Kemal Roy. Un gran pianista cubano que viene con una energía fresca, pero con una visión eh, eh, en el sentir de, de nuestras raíces también, de la, de la música cubana, de siempre. Y bueno, conocí a, a Kemuel, lo conocí tocando con Arturo Sandoval, por allá por Madrid, hace unos años. Y, y estoy feliz porque es, es la nueva generación con con un deseo y una energía sincera, eh, con una información y eh, una inteligencia y sensibilidad por la música de corazón, basada también en sus tradiciones, basada en su historia, basada en su, en su ADN. Y espero que disfruten este disco. Yo, por mi parte, he colaborado con él en esta canción para el cochero. Eh, hice, hice mi cosita ahí, canté un poquito. Y bueno, nada, de estos pianistas jóvenes, de estos nuevos talentos, eh, la música sigue floreciendo en sus manos, en su composición y ahora más que nunca en su nueva producción. Alain Pérez, disfruten a Kemal Roy. Also, I wanted to invite some musician from Cuba, a trumpet player, that has that specific sound. And the first person that came to my mind was the amazing trumpet player from Cuba, Julito Padrón. Saludándoles aquí, Julito Padrón, desde La Habana. Para contarles, me parece que el primer momento en que vi a Kemuel Roy y supe de él fue por conexión con dos grandes amigos. Y pasaron Kemuel y Eilardo a saludarme. Yo ni conocía a que muerto, pero al verlo con Hilario ya me puedo dar cuenta que esas cosas se unen, en fin. Vi a que muerto, después supe de que él tocó el piano con el máster grandísimo Arturo Sacolá y empecé a ver sus cosas. Vino una vez a La Habana también, me con Hilario a un momento y lo vi en un ensayo. Un intérprete magnífico y le deseo todo, todo lo lindo en este lanzamiento de su disco y fue un placer participar en este tema. Para que muera Roy, muchas cosas lindas, muchas bendiciones y que siga la música adelante. I'm telling you, this is a piece that you want to hear <laughs> because it starts very mellow, but by the end it has so much energy. <laughs> you will not believe it. You need to listen to this track. <laughs> There is one piece in particular that I had the honor to have as a special guest someone that I deeply admire and I'm talking about Milton Sesenton. Milton Sesenton is an amazing conductor, an amazing orchestra arranger. For this project, I had this composition of mine entitled All For You. Um, we had the idea of having a symphony and some strings playing over this composition. So I called the amazing Milton Sesenton And I asked him to please uh, compose 10 or 20 seconds of music before the actual band will start playing. And, <laughs> oh my God, you guys need to listen 
to this introduction that Mirtus Sesenton composed for this piece. Hello everyone, uh, God bless you. My name is Milton Sesenton. I'm a pianist, arranger, orchestrator, and uh, I had the privilege of also working in Kemuel's Roy album. And uh, we met uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I was on my way out to London, and I stopped by a friend's house to pick up my laptop. We were doing a recording session there. And there was this kid playing piano, and I, I stopped and listened for a while, and I said to myself, man, this kid plays very well. And he looked up to me and said, hey, I, I had just a few words, encouraged him a little bit, just to keep, you know, keep running. And I left, uh, did my show. When I came back after some time, I started calling my friends here in Miami, telling them, hey, I'm back in town. And uh, so his name, Camue's name, was making a lot of noise in the street. And I said, man, this guy has to be playing well. And I'm privileged to be part of this uh, project. I listened to it not too long ago. Uh, and people, uh, uh, people say, hey, the orchestration or the sounds or the orchestra, uh, here they are. <laughs> everything is programmed, but everything went well. And I thank the Lord for that. I thank him for giving me the opportunity to be part of this blessing because I know it's going to bless your heart out there. Okay, guys? So again, uh, that's my story with Kemuel. Great guy, great guy. I love him with all my heart. Say, God bless you, okay? Notes and sessions in here from Miami. Café con leche. <laughs> Café con leche is a composition which demonstrates the feeling that I personally feel every time, every morning when I take my very first sip of Café con leche and drinking café con leche, coffee and milk, is very popular in Cuba. Uh, for sure, I wanted to pay a tribute to this amazing drink that we all love so much. And on this composition, you will hear a dance song that later on evolves and turns into a piano tumbao and. <laughs> I love you, Kendrick. I love you, Daddy. I will never, never, ever forget the very first time I had the blessing to be a father. The very first time I saw my, my first child, Kendrick, in front of me. And that experience that I had that day, it was so powerful that when I went to the room to be with my wife, I had to get my phone and I start recording this melody and get a manuscript and I start writing all this melody so I wouldn't forget. And on this album, on the very beginning, you will hear my son Kendrick talking to me. Nowadays he's seven years old. But this composition is a reflection of what I felt the very first time I saw Kendrick. All my life, I have been trying to get closer to God. God has been the center of my life since my very early childhood. And I could not live a day without praying and without talking to God. And this last composition from this album, The Prayer, is a reflection of this. For this composition, I had the honor of having as a special guest, the amazing Joel Hernandez. Hola, mi nombre es Joel Hernandez, cantante, percusionista. Eh, la experiencia que tengo de trabajar con Kemuel es increíble. He aprendido muchas cosas. Se ha abierto mi, mi panorama musical. Eh, después de participar es la segunda vez que, que estamos juntos en un proyecto de él. Un muchacho súper talentoso y demás está decir como persona lo que es. Eh, participé en dos temas en este disco. Eh, con Kemuel me pasa algo hermoso que, que además fluye muy lindo, eh, que él conoce lo que yo abarco como, como músico, como cantante. Entonces, pues eso, eh, eh, pues tenemos ahí como una sincronización y al final quedan estas cosas lindas, bárbaras, que a mí me encantan. Eh, yo lo he disfrutado muchísimo a 
además me siento como un pez en el agua eh, cada vez que él me llama a su proyecto. Estoy súper contento por él, por los amigos que están ahí, por, por este proyecto nuevo, que además van a venir muchos. Este, este disco es, es de verdad muy completo, muy completo. Aparte de los músicos que, 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 lo, que, que están dentro de este proyecto, que lo hace más interesante. Ojalá, ojalá lo tengan todos ahí. Once we had finished the whole album and everything was ready, we had to find somebody to mix and master this album. And for this, I call my dear friend, someone that I deeply admire his work because he is one of the very best sound engineers in the industry. And he has worked with so many artists and his mixes always sound amazing amazing and I'm talking about my dear friend Jose Rivera. Hi, uh, my name is Jose Angel Rivera Jr. Uh, I had the privilege of mixing and mastering this project. Uh, I've known Kemuel uh, for, for many years but uh, it wasn't until uh, uh, he came to me to, to mix his previous record Let There Be Joy that we uh, started uh, a working relationship together. And uh, it's been amazing. It's been a, an amazing journey. I've learned uh, a whole lot uh, by working with uh, this amazing gentleman. Kemuel uh, came to me, uh, I would say about six, eight months ago to, to show me uh, the content of, of this new project, Genesis. And uh, when I heard the, uh, the rough tracks, I was, uh, I was excited. I said, oh man, I can't wait to, to start mixing this project because uh, it was recorded live and uh, it, it's always fun to be able to work with this particular genre, jazz, and also with amazing musicians. Uh, so my approach to um, mixing this record, uh, Genesis, uh, was pretty much uh, try to not uh, interfere with what was recorded uh, as much as possible because it was uh, recorded well and again the, the caliber of musicianship was was really high so really it was pretty much trying to uh, maintain the the purity of what was already recorded and uh, you know make adjustments that would enhance the acoustic sound of the band, uh, the, the fact that they, they performed together, uh, that uh, pretty much was my approach. You know, I, I sat down, heard it, and just messed with what I needed to try to avoid altering the original tracks as much as possible. Mixing this type of project is all, always refreshing because um, it's not something that's, that you find a lot of uh, today in today's uh, world of music. Um, uh, the, the whole concept of recording uh, the band all together in a, in a studio and uh, excellent musicians, uh, all the instruments were acoustic. So, the, you know, the you know, bass, it wasn't an electric bass, it was a, an acoustic bass and, you know, grand piano, percussion, the drums, everything was just live. And it's something that, you know, again, it's not, there's not many projects that offer this, this kind of content. So it, it was a blast uh, mixing it and, um, and, and very refreshing. I'm definitely, uh, I feel privileged to, to have been able to, to mix the record. My main purpose with this album of Genesis is to pay a tribute to all those musicians I deeply admire. I honor the musicians. I have been extremely blessed to meet in person and learn from them but I'm also extremely grateful for those musicians I have been able to spend hours after hours listening, analyzing and learning from their music. I really hope this album brings a lot of joy, happiness and blessings to your life. And we have recorded each of these tracks with a lot of passion and I really hope you get that feeling when you listen to this album of Genesis. Many blessings and thank you so much for listening to Genesis. <laughs>